Alright, welcome back to more Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission and well, let's not waste any more, let's not waste much time. We're at the end of the normal story before we get into the extra dimensional story, whatever you want to call it. He's too much. My body won't move. You know, I'm just, you know, just saying, now would be the perfect time for Goku and Vegeta to just be, you know, fashionably late like heroes often are and just show up and save the day and all that stuff. You know, just saying. Everyone's on ragged. What are our options? Um, have you considered running away? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Have you considered a tactical retreat? <laughs> it's like how you just slumped over. <laughs> like a Frankenstein's monster right there kind of thing. Other than dying? None. Well, you see- wait a minute. I was going to say dying is of no consequence in Dragon Ball with the Dragon Balls, but I have no idea if the Dragon Balls exist in this timeline or not. So, let's hold off on dying until we know that for sure. It's the end of the line. Okay, we know dang well that like Goku's about to deflect that. Oh, called it. <laughs> who dares defy me now? Well, you see, the one who dares to defy you, Seelis, is the one that's going to put a massive butt whooping on you in about 10 minutes. I'm assuming, anyway. Ah, finally. Ah, the music, that's awesome. <laughs> and everyone's shocked expression. Whew, glad we made it. They can certainly take a beating. Really, Vegeta? <laughs> no, really? Well, nice to see you haven't changed, Vegeta. No way! Yeah, well, Goku and Vegeta exist in this timeline and universe. Uh, pulled out from wherever they were by Supreme Guy of Time. Got, gave them outfits, made them time patrollers, and now there's, you know, Goku and Vegeta. And now they've been sent here to help us by Supreme Guy of Time. Is the gist of what I'm getting. I have no idea if this Goku and Vegeta is from the Super or GT timeline or from some other obscure timeline or so I have no idea if these are the main Vegeta and Goku or not because GT is you know not canon and whatnot it's uh, considered a side story by Toriyama so if someone would like to explain where this Xeno Goku and Vegeta uh, where they come from and how they got to be that Supreme Kai Times place with the Time Vault, I'd very much appreciate it. Oh wait, I'm wasting way too much time, let's carry on. Those are... Those are... Time Patroller uniforms. Dad, Goku, man, are we glad to see you. And if it was... And if it was not obvious enough who Great Saiyan Man 3 really was, even for the most dense and you know, dense and clueless of us, the second it, you know, with Trunks' BA and whatnot, but the second it says, Dad, I should tell you that this is Trunks, like there's no denying it anymore. But of course, the second I heard Trunks' voice actor with Great Santa 3, I knew it was Trunks. Wait, so Goku and Vegeta came from the game world? Nope. These are the real ones. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't feel that way. That's gaming for you, raise your sharp senses. Your instincts are spot on, they're not from the game world. They're the real deal, I should know, I asked them to come. Real? As in real real? Yes, that's what he just said, so... 
calm your excitement. I mean, I know seeing your idols in front of you is exciting, but calm yourself, man. So that's the actual Goku from our world? Okay, so it still begs the question. Are we in the GT timeline? Trunks' future time? Wait, if this is... From, if this is continue, if this uh, takes place in the super timeline, then that can't be possible because that was wiped out by Zeno. So is this so is this in the same timeline as Dragon Ball Z and Super, or is this the timeline of Dragon Ball GT? I still have no idea. In the flesh, surprised, I'll explain everything later. Oh, you better, Trunks. You better. Don't forget about me. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, oh, the, the, the Supreme Cat times you too. It's like, she just appeared out of nowhere. What, can you teleport too? It's like, it's like, I can't. It, you know, with all the excitement of Goku, Vegeta, I guess no one just noticed you, you know, despite being very important. <laughs> yeah, you know, anyway. Supreme Kai of Time, you're here too? It's like, oh, even Trunks is surprised. It's like, well, don't let her look fool you. She's actually a very competent fighter. If, uh, this universe 2 is anything to go by. Considering the scale of the situation, I have to be. You've done an admirable job standing your ground. Now let's actually take some back. We'll be joining the fight from here on out. <laughs> it's just like how Supreme Kai is just itching. She's like raring to go to kick his butt. It's adorable. Though, again, don't let her look spoil you. She is anything but young. I mean, she's like, what? Did Z I think Xenoverse 2 has stated that... Uh, Old Kai is only a million years older than Supreme Kai of Time, and I think in I think it mentions that she's like what 15 million years old or something. Either way, she's old. The Supreme Kai of Time. I thought you'd be showing up. Really? You really? So you predicted this situation? I still can't believe this. They're all real? Yeah. Truck seems to know them on a personal level. Who would have thought it was this personal? Well, I mean, it's Trunks. Glad everyone's alive and well. And we got this. Uh, looks like a Kai, a Kaiushin. Whoa! And who might you be? I'm Zen, a Dragon Ball hero. Okay, nope. He's a hero. Okay, no, he's a player. His avatar is a Kaiushin. All right. I'm the one. Is this the one, Supreme Kai of Time? You wanted me to find another hero. Here he is. Oh, so she was scouted by Supreme Kai of Time herself. Thanks so much. Now we'd be good to go once the last one gets here. Okay, now who's the last one? There's another hero out there. Trunks. Yeah, the first recruit I ever brought in. I've been having him work solo. Oh, cool. Is he uh, going to be a lone wolf? Doesn't work well with others, type deal. Wow, I hope I, I hope he gets here soon. Yeah, we could use all the help we can get right now. This won't be easy. Thanks for joining the party, Zen. I've heard all about Silas from the Supreme Kai of Time. Hope you don't mind me lending a hand. No, no, no. Please, all hands on deck. Thanks. We really appreciate it. You fought well, all of you. You can rest easy now that we're here. Take a knee while we handle these punks. Well, I imagine that Vegeta's gonna rush in, get his butt whooped, and Vegeta's gonna come in and save the day. That's the normal. That's normally how it goes. Also, I like the little imagery here with uh, the hero tower in the background with the blue Goku and Vegeta, how they're uh, Goku's on the left and Vegeta's on the right, but when we split the real Goku and Vegeta are swapped, I think that's cool. 
probably purely, if that's intentional, that's a nice detail, but it's probably just coincidence. Either way, it's nice. Your troublemaking days are over, you hear? Your days are over, period. What timing? This will provide me even more delectable data. Okay, now you're now you're, uh, now see this? Now you're starting to be creepy. Let's go, Vegeta. I don't take orders from you, Kakarot. Ah, good to see you haven't changed. Hmm? You guys can hang back and rest, you know. Well, you see, we're the main characters, so that's not an option. Unfortunately. No, this fight's ours too. He wrecked our town. I can't just sit it out. I have to fight. I have to fight him. Do as you please, but don't get all right. Ah, Vegeta, ye old softy. Sounds peachy to me. You're in. Oh, yeah, it, as always, Goku doesn't take much convincing. Don't just go overboard, okay? Yes, sir. Of course, of course, for my avatar, this is a dream come true, so there's absolutely no way he's going to miss that, miss the opportunity. Defeat the enemy with a perfect CI. Uh, that's easier said than done. I know I, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Fighting spirits. Alright, uh... Hmm. Actually, hold you down here. You can go here. Here, here. Do this. Hmm. Let's do that. Okay, I was worried for nothing. Alright, level 2, that's plus 3,000 power. Alright, not bad, not bad. And... Ah, dang it. Okay, I need to pay attention here. What the? How is that not a... Okay, I've got to... Hmm. Unless Sealess is just really good at getting high CIs like that, then I need to pay attention here. Or it could have been coincidence. Okay, now that was just coincidence. And me not paying attention. Can you go after the other Goku? Okay, thank you. Okay, see that time I got it. Now that sucks. Alright, Bardock, unleash your inner ape. Ah, it's always nice to see that. Ah, let's see. Let's do this. That and... Okay, we're really good. Okay, 
ーパードロップ君のチームの攻撃だゴッドカメハメハモード突入ゴッドカメハメハを発見ゴッドカメハメハを発見ゴッドカメハメハを発見ゴッドカメハメハを発見ゴッドカメハメハを発見ゴッドカメハメハを発見I wonder how far do I have to get the camaraderie of Goku and Bardock until I get the、uh, ultimate unit thing for my avatar. Because that's what the game keeps telling me to do is raise my camaraderie with these two characters to get an ultimate unit thing, like some characters do. Alright, take this, you. A c a t a c h Ah, dang it. Oh! Take that, you mechanical weirdo. Take this, temporal justice. Ah,、oh, I could watch that all day. Okay, barely, but I won that. And here we go. Ah! Great escape from the wrath of Great Ape Bardock. Oh, not, minus 2000, that's nice. I don't know why, but the way that, the way that looks with the blue color just,、um, just reminds me of、uh, Godzilla's atomic breath. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because I love seeing Godzilla fire off that atomic riff. Ah,、right, come on. Don't get stuck. Alright. Your size. One increase to CIF speed. Now, Zamasu needs to. Or, I, or, go to, or Rose go through Blackness, do a super slash for the second increase of their CI speed. And as always, that is one magnificent explosion, b r o t h e r s And, do 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 do. I do like the little attention to detail where they're darkened in the classroom, just adds to the, adds to the drama of the scene. Yep. Now their CI speed should be really fast. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Oh! Perfect in your face, Ams! Okay, I'll see you here. You can stay right here. Uh, that's the thing, I'd rather not. You know what? I'll go ahead and do this. Can I get an amazing for this transformation to Super Saiyan 3? Let's see. Come on. Come on. There we go, go. Ah,、oh, amazing. Look at that. Just love the craziness of Berserk for Super Saiyan 3 hair. And I'll, then, then again, the elite Super Saiyan 3 hair is just fantastic as well. Yeah, I know level 4, unfortunately. 
Hang on, now let's see if I can actually get this off. Nope. I fumbled at the last minute there. Oh, dang it. The only way I was getting that was a perfect. Oh, thank you, Supreme Kai of Time. Oh, a follow-up chance, too. And... Oh, wow, that's a lot. Oh, that was so close to perfect. I take that a top of breath. <laughs> Oh, that's right, the double tag. I completely forgot about it. Oh, I might as well do it for some extra damage. Ooh, double kick to the stomach. And to the back. Alright, there we go. Super double effect, recover stamina. And take this as we borrow this move from Trunks. Ah, crap. Three times in a row is just. Okay, well, it's not Dragon Ball Battle, so. Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, thank you, Supreme Kai of Time. Oh, of course he did. Oh, that time was all me. So take that, Seelus. And look at this. If I didn't get a perfect, he would have won. But he's feeling pretty crummy right about now. This, this. Um, just do that. Oh yeah, I did put a new move on my Berserker that I learned from my Goku called Super Dragon Fist, and I want to see just how well the animation is. Ah, this is one of the best looking moves in the game right here. Just look at it. It's awesome. And I'm going to purposely lose this one. That way I can see what my Berserker's move is. See what it looks like anyway. Dang it. It's not perfect. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting the Ultra Instinct back on that. Okay, whew, this part is getting... Oh, Super Boss, dang. Anyway, this part is getting close to max time, so let's skip ahead to the story. Ha! Ha! It's the end of the line for you, Seelus. Of course it's not. He looks like the... Main, he's probably he's probably the main villain of all this unless something unless a plot twist happens. So he's not going to die here. Haha, <laughs> you're one tough cookie. Well, thank you, Goku. Impressive. These are no ordinary grade schoolers. Thanks, Vegeta. You know, in your own way.
Sin has become my ally. Oh, and we get a story circle, and we get another Dragon Ball, which I might do that off screen. Either way, let's finish the story. Goku and Vegeta, you're as formidable as your reputations would suggest, and much more so. I've collected ample data for now. Let's pick this up some other time. Exactly, he's just going to do guerrilla tactics hit and run while collecting data to surpass us. Coward, you would run from battle? No one's running, not today. Ha! What a nut. He was holding back this whole time? Well, you see, you only did one little regular dinky key blast that he was able to deflect. Why don't you, oh, I don't know, use an actual powerful move? Stop this madness, Silas. You weren't like this before. Yeah, so Supreme Kai, Time, and Silas know each other. I'm gonna guess that Silas was a time patroller that didn't like fixing history and decides to make history better or something? No. Oh, oh. I assure you, my ideals, beliefs, and goals remain quite unchanged. My plan to usher in a new era will come to fruition. I will reset this corrupt existence. So, you know, you're, you're kind of pulling as a monster here. Ah, my eye! Really? You solar flare? Wow. But why? Seriously, everyone uses solar flare to get away. Why don't we have any defenses for solar flare after all this time? Or any ways to counter it? Is it just me, or is that eerily similar to solar... See? Even Go see Goku right, right, breaks it up. Yep. <laughs> oh, at least this game is self-aware. Not just similar, Cell is capable of the same technique. That thing's like that thing like the game to moves or whatever it absorbs. Okay, that's not really that surprising. No way. Hey, where's Silas? The gutless curve fled. Maybe Silas always has been this way. I knew he was a conflicted boy. But I never knew he would become this. Ah, flashback time. I remember it's like yesterday. We were looking into a historical anomaly. Look at this planet. Majin Buu did all this? Oh, so this is one of the planets that Majin Buu wrecked? Cool. Remember, Silas, we're here on patrol, nothing more. I didn't hear an answer. Y yes, ma'am, I understand. Help! Oh, so this, yeah, okay, this must have been before the four Supreme Kai's, or original four Kai's. Yes, yeah, so before these Shin became the Supreme Kai, so it would be the four original Kai's that would go on to face Majin Buu after he absorbed one of them, and then he would absorb the Fat Kai, and be then become Fat Buu, then get sealed up, and all that stuff that happened. So, this must be when Bibbidi first either created or summoned Majibu and had him and just had him go ham on the galaxy to just completely wreck everything. It's a kid, we have to. No, our mission is to return history to its normal course. Under no circumstances can we rewrite it as we please. I know how you feel, but you must endure. That's not the greatest pep talk Scream Kai time. There is a life in front of me that needs saving. I can't ignore it. Well, you see, that's going to change the course of history, and you're not supposed to do that. Seelis, wait! Little fool. 
How many times have I told you we can't change history? A single change can create a ripple of untold magnitude. That would, that would be catastrophic. I know galactic law teach timeline alteration as a capital offense. Oh, so was he a galactic patrol member that got recruited to the time patrol due to excellent service and merit? Hmm. We'll probably learn more backstory as we go along, but this is actually getting interesting. I mean, he's pretty much of the same idea Trunks had with this time machine, except, you know, he was a time patroller when he did it. Trunks did it when he wasn't a time patroller, and they just built a time machine. And it's because of that that got Supreme Kai Time's attention and it later became a time patroller. But when a life is in danger, is inaction really the right thing? Well... I mean, take a lesson from Trunks after he learned about Time and after you learned about uh, time patrol trunks, after learning that you can't, that you shouldn't change history at all costs, uh, in Xenoverse 2, he, he did let uh, Gohan go off. I mean, he needed persuading, but he eventually let Gohan, future Gohan, go off to die to the androids. Of course, there was an extra story mission about a saving future trunks and the andro against the androids, but. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure if that's confirmed as if it really happened or if that was just a bonus story for an, for to unlock super uh, super a future Super Saiyan transformation. Anyway, that event has had already occurred. To preserve history, we have to leave it be. I understand your frustration, but you need to cool off. I'm right. I know it. If I check the time scrolls for that child's future, it's sure to be pleasant, happy. What? No, the entire planet is vaporized by Majibu? Yeah, they die anyway. My actions didn't mean anything. Anything at all. Yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Is there a meaning in protecting the correct version of history and letting lives slip away, evil slip away? Well, not really, because, well, I mean, Majin Buu does get destroyed by a spirit bomb by Goku in the far off future, so just wait for that, Seelus. If one has the power to save, one must save. That is true justice. I see, well, I see, so Silas has good intentions, but, and tries to fix things that he shouldn't fix, according to galactic law and time uh, travel. So I can understand where he's coming from, and I'm hoping we get more flashbacks or backstory to see where the crap we went from trying to save people who died in the correct version of history to just utterly going down the Zamasu route of resetting everything to the perfect utopia by destroying everything in existence. But yeah, I'm very interested in learning this. They actually have a good backstory for Silas, which is surprising. I was just expecting some random thing to do this and because he's just a bad guy type of deal but the fact they actually was a time patroller and hated seeing these people die it's really a dilemma I mean it goes to show you that despite the f comedy of Xenoverse 2 especially with that future Gohan mission with Trunks that it's not all sunshine and rainbows if history states that someone has to, uh, someone died, you, you can't go back in time and save them, even if you could. Supreme, for, first off, it's you can't. First off, Supreme Kai of Time won't allow it. And so, if it's someone you know, and you have to just see that, that's heartbreaking. So, he's, so I can see CS as being sympathetic in this flashback, 
but I really do want to see where he goes from this to what we see in that fight just a few just last our last fight I know evil itself must be eradicated the universe must be reformed to exclude all evil I will rebuild history from the ground up to be one of peace I will reforge existence to do that I must first burn that scroll history must die okay well never mind <laughs> Okay, well, never I was see it right here. Luckily, I was able to learn Seelus' plot to banish him to the Time Abyss. Though I knew Seelus would to be a loose cannon, I truly believed in his integrity. But it seems I was mistaken. He couldn't resist taking history into his own hands. Everything is because of me, because I was naive. Something wrong, you've been awfully quiet, Supreme Kai time. Well, uh, uh oh, uh oh, it's nothing. No, that's pretty, there is pretty something, but, uh, I take it he won't share with us until the last minute, so. Oh, never mind, she's, she's sharing. Alright, it's just, Celis and I used to work side by side fixing anomalies. Treating him as an enemy will take some getting used to. So, Silas was a first-generation time patrol? I see. Well, at least the world's safe for the time being, right? That it is, thanks to you. That's another day saved, heroes. Let's return to the lab. We have a few things to go over. Oh, we have more than just a few things. Train to fight, fight against the legendary warriors unlocked. Okay, we got chapter three. Uh, we got uh, chapter three of. Yeah, chapter three of chapter three. That'll never get. That's not confusing at all. Anyway. Mm. Well, mm, we still got the extra dimension story to go through, so let's go back into chapter, t chapter two of chapter three. Ah, Veku. And we'll be going straight into the extra dimensional space here for the extra story for the chapter before we move on to the next chapter. Yep, you know, chapter 3 of chapter 3. In case you know that's not confusing at all. Oh, we, yeah, it looks like this one's a lot longer than the last one, so. And, uh, we're already running late for this part with time, with time constraints and all that, so. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I will s hope you all have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next episode of SDBH World Mission. See, I abbreviated to save time, though it doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well as not abbreviating. That's it. Alright, <sighs> see you guys next episode.